get through this rough time as everybody else was. But anyway, um, you know, just myself included, um, realizing that I needed to do a lot of things to uh, accommodate everyone in a peaceful way that we get through this transition pretty swift. But the reality is, is did we ever think about how this may have affected the kids? You know, a lot of them went homeschooling. A lot of them, you know, also didn't get to go out and hang out with their friends. They were also quarantined. So I think like hmm, for a few months, my kids were homeschooled. So they didn't have any social activity for months. So I know that had a lot to do with why the kids were having issues uh, this summer. I ain't going to say issues, but, you know, just everyone, once we got off of quarantine, everybody just kind of went crazy. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to say crazy, but wanted to be social, wanted to hang out, wanted to go skate. Just all, anything that they w- could do, they wanted to do. And I let them do that just on the strength of advocating for my kids and I hope you guys are doing the same um I'm being told to tell you guys um as a collective like I said some of this may resonate some it may not but um we need to be more mindful of how our kids is feeling how our kids are handling things um a lot of kids don't like to talk or express themselves um I make my kids write in journals I try not to read them, but every now and then, like when I see some of my kids pulling back because they're normally social kids, I try to, you know, tap in, be a little sneaky (laughs) to kind of see where their head is. Like we as parents seem to forget that they also have emotions. They also can go through depression, anxiety and things like that. So it's important for us to be mindful of our mental diet as well as these kids. And I feel like I'm not trying to bash nobody, but I feel a lot of parents is not being mindful of that, you know, and what we are realizing is is that we are creating a generation where we want them to know problem solving skills. We want them to know how to combat depression and anxiety because I'm not going to give uh, my kids medicine. Some parents, hey, kudos to you guys if y'all do it. But, um, yeah, like, I want to teach my kids how to communicate, teach them how to uh, ha- how to handle their issues and cope in a healthy manner, you know, not going towards other people for validation, not using drugs to cover up their feelings, but really talking to them and really sitting down with them and advocating for them. Because at the end of the day,